Good afternoon everybody, Insignificant Fellow here and welcome to the Father's Day video. Now, you may be asking, why forth is there such a big glass of water here in a novelty sized wine glass? Well, that's because one of the first things that we've got for the Father's Day video requires some time. It's one of these, it grows a sports car, do you get it? Because <laughs> your dad's having a midlife crisis, ha ha ha. And these do take a while to grow, so essentially I'm going to put it in at the start of this video keep the camera next to me like there's a live in the desk anyway and just record any growth that happens all the way through tonight and maybe tomorrow morning to see if anything actually happens or if I um, die of boredom I've already died being unable to get into the back of you, that's a good start go on, open sesame there we go, always bring the scissors Yeah, it's essentially a lump of rubber. I don't understand how exactly this will grow. There's also a lump of plastic stuck to it, which is always um, good. But yeah, it's just a... It's, it's like, I'm pretty sure I think this is just a pencil or either. I'll be brutally fucking honest, but anyhow. It already looks bigger than the glass. Oh, that's just the, uh, <coughs> the weird perception it has. Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. I'm noticing a reoccurring theme. But anyway, let's... Move this to the side, and then, um, actually no, I'll put it on the counter behind me to avoid uh, possible damages and droppages. So, what's next in things that we can actually witness? It's this. Yeah, because it's just what your dad wants, a lump of um, cheap calendar chocolate that was left over from Christmas. And it's been sitting in the shed for a while. It is imprinted on the inside, which is jolly nice of them. It's not just a plain inside. Oh no, I've pulled what the sticker off. Now I can't see what, what it's made of. You'll be pleased to know, however, for every father, there are no E numbers, it looks like, which is always nice. I can't get the bottom bit off. There we go. It's an actual thick piece of chocolate. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Calendar chocolate. Everybody celebrate. Actually, to be fair, it's slightly superior on kind of chocolate. So, you know what else go good with this award then? Another award! Courtesy of Poundland, here's some cheap plastic shit made in the People's Republic of No Human Rights, if you can make that out at the bottom of the thing there. Warning, keep away from fire. Yeah, that's a, that's a good advice for anything really from Poundland, but yeah, just a cheap little plastic thing. You can get these normally blank without the sticker on and you give them out at uh, primary school sports fairs. I should know this because I think I've got three in the loft. But yeah, it's, it's alright. Mm, I just, um, just put that over there. It's, uh, it's fine. Mm. What next? I know. Just the thing for everyone, Dad. Miracle hair growth soap. <laughs> Get it because your dad's 43 and he's gone bald. <sighs> this is just going to be right. whatever cheap genetic soap bar they could get their hands on. It's blue. I like to say hair growth, I think so they put some moderate effort in. And by moderate I mean the bare minimum. I've got it in cling film as well, so you can't see what it smells like. How nice. And it smells like fucking nothing. Yep. It's just <laughs> Is it wrong to say that it smells of blue? Because it just doesn't smell like anything at all. Back in the box there to mask the terrible, terrible odor. I mean, it lack of terrible odor. Yeah, um, let's have a look at this. Christ, even I can't make that out. I've got my glasses on. Let's see if there's anything, anything in here sodium, palo, palmate, water, aqua. Okay, 
Sodium, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Novelty soap, directions, wet skin with water. <laughs> okay, if we're in the age where you still have to put that on at soap products, I strongly suggest that we um, abandon planet Earth and fuck off to the moon, perhaps. Let's get something else, see how we can eat. It's a pint made of gelatin. Because, as we know, everyone's mum wants crappy makeup and shit, and everyone's dad wants a pint because it's still the space year 1974. And it's away. Ah, yes. Ooh, what does it smell like? <coughs> Hang on. It smells like the soap. These are but okay. These are made by two completely different companies, I assume. Produced in China, Kim Kim and Miller. Uh, not tested on animals. That's why it doesn't look. At least that's nice to know. Oh wait, no, it. I can't pronounce that because it's a weird Chinese company. So <laughs> these are completely different products, but they smell exactly the same. That's disconcerting. Also, whatever the hell this thing in this is on the top's going off. That's nice. You can even glue glue together. Uh, no. It's, it smells like the soap, but then there's like the, the most mild hint of lemon that ever did lemon. Let's try a bit then. Mm. Yeah. Does the white taste any different? Hmm. It's the mildest hint of lemon on the face of the earth. And also this rubber gelatin, whatever the f how you feel like calling it on a Tuesday. It's got the consistency of that gel you get in, you know, the old air freshness that your nan has. Or it's just like a white plastic pot with some goop in it that smells actually quite nice. We've got one on our porch to stop her shoes smelling. It's got that weird, this strange, weird, glunky, gloopy texture of that. If you ever prodded one out of mild wonder, I have. I'm sure you all have at home too. What's next? Hmm. The choices vary massively. It's this. It's crap jokes, Lou Rolls. What's that say? Focus then. What do prisoners use to call each other? Cell phone. <laughs> Why do birds fly south in winter? Because it's too far to walk. <laughs> also, a lot of the things I bought from Panland appear to have red marks on them. I think someone has, in fact, been murdered to death in my local branch of Panland. Or at the very least, the factory where everything they have is made. Come on, lads, that is a demon a full roll. Look at that. That's the kind of shit you get in a fucking public toilet. Can't let this public toilet grade toilet roll. Oh no, that's the box of the bag. There we go. Freedom. Oh, got it. Oh, feels alright. Wipe me off for that. It's worth it to come away from. Two cannibals are eating a clown. One says to the other, does this taste funny to you? Why do cows wear bowels? Because their horns don't work. <laughs> that made me laugh slightly. What's a moth's life motto? Always look on the bright side. Why was the Egyptian boy confused? His daddy was really a mummy. Why did the chalkboard want to be a whiteboard? It heard where they were remarkable. Why did the golfer wear two pairs of pants in case he got a hole in one? <sighs> What's the longest word in the dictionary? Smile because it has a mile in it. Two men have been arrested. One was drinking battery acid, the other was eating fireworks. Police charge you one and let the other off. And that's not too bad. What do you get when you cross a fish with, with an elephant? Swimmy trunks. What does a snake do when it gets angry? It throws a hissy fit. What do you call a three legged donkey? A wonky. What do you call a person with no ears? Whatever you like, they can't hear you. A skeleton walks into a bar and says to the barman, I'd like a beer and a mop, please. Why did the hu human cannibal lose his job? He got fired. Why did the traffic lights say to the man in the car, don't look, I'm changing. Why did the scarecrow run the ward? He was outstanding in his field. What's the best time to buy a budgie? When they're getting cheap. 
Did you hear about the man who was tap dancing? He broke his ankle when he fell into the sink. What does a spider when he gets cold? He goes undercover. What did the guitar say to the musician? Pick on someone your own size. Why are celebrities so cool? Because they have so many fans. Why did the toy store sign say you can feed animals? They are already stuffed. Uh, <laughs> credit to this roll. We've gone through that far. I think it's actually all different jokes. <laughs> Does not have a very repeat. So I was expecting this to be like three rolls of the same joke. But yeah, I'm, I'm looking at it. Oh wait, no, so, hang on. So there it is, approximately. Let me just rip this off. The top joke is the one about where the thing is a mummy. And you actually get... That's actually not... That's a, that's a fair whack of joke. You know, you're not going to... It's... I doubt anyone's ever going to read the rest of them, but I, was, I wasn't expecting just three jokes on repeat. So yeah, I actually quite like that one. It's not bad. And it's one of the few things that I can give mild credit to, I suppose. Maybe the soap can get some credit because um, it smells like sweets. <laughs> and uh, let's look at the last thing that's may require some time and effort. It's an inflatable crown from George, or as we all know it, as does clothing aisle. 100 days satisfaction guarantee. In 100 days, this will be in a landfill somewhere. With a thousand others. But yeah, it's a crown. A little bit like the ones that Burger King had, which uh, does, make me, does lead me to believe that they are, in fact, one giant company that makes them all. So, I'm going to inflate this, but because it takes me seven hours to inflate anything, I'm going to pause the video. That actually, that took me uh, no time at all, because it's actually quite tiny. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a good advert for not smoking kids, but yeah, it's got little stars on it and stuff. Yeah. Not really much you can say about that, it's just a crap rubber fucking crown. I suppose you can get it for your dad and chances are he'll bring it out every now and again at random parties because it's essentially the ultimate dad joke, look at my rubber crown. It's actually too big for my head, I could wear this as a neck brace. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Maybe I should ah, it's stuck on my head. Maybe I should take some of the air out, or maybe I should just not give two shocks to um shit. He said shocks. Then I've made my own word up today. But yeah, this has been the Father's Day special that nearly actually didn't happen because I bought all of this stuff today. I was going to buy it yesterday, but bargain booze for some reason their card machines are so shit that a bottle of gin I bought for my dad for real Father's Day was flagged up as a fraudulent purchase. So yeah. I um, was without money for a day because it, it the time it happened was the time the co-op shut their fucking office. Because apparently you only need to be open for two hours every fucking fortnight if you're a bank. So yeah, I've been a significant fellow and um, how's the car going? Christ, this class is heavy. Let's have a look. Um, No, it's just slightly slimy. That's nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll keep you up to date on this. If uh, something actually does happen, I'll um, I'll add it at the end of the video. Bye. Right, it's been about probably four or five days, and um, as you can see, if I just um, remove the uh, object, it has grown. A little bit, but not a lot. It also feels really weird. But yeah, I um, don't think I'll be able to drive that down any country lanes anytime soon.